Ani, Adel Lusmorn Dishnikaz, Shabonaning and Donchapa. Hello, my name is Adel Lusmore and I'm a Treaty Indian from Shabonaning, also known as Killarney, Ontario. I placed a white triangle near the top of this map to show where our community is located. We are at the entrance to the north channel of Georgian Bay in the Robinson Huron Treaty area. Next to me is part of the title page for MNO's verified Métis family document for the Recollet family. Jacques Cooper is one of the Killarney ancestors that MNO claims is a documented Métis because he was described as French breed on the 1901 Canadian census. MNO says his name is John James Cooper. See that arrow on the left pointing to his name? His name was actually now Kamagabo. Our oral tradition says he was given the name Cooper because he was a barrel maker and barrel makers are called Coopers. The Métis Nation of Ontario has a lot to say about the Supreme Court's Powley decision and Métis Aboriginal rights. Self-identification is a very important component. So is an ancestral connection to a historic Métis community. So what about this letter from Jacques to the Secretary of the Indian Department? It was written in Killarney in 1901, the same year as the Canadian census that MNO used to declare that Jacques was Métis. So here's the bottom of the letter with Jacques X and his name. And on the left side, you will see the name of the witness is T.H. Jackman. That's Thomas Henry Jackman. He used to own the Killarney General Store, and for some years he was also a Justice of the Peace. In this letter, Jacques is asking Indian Affairs why his two youngest children are not receiving their treaty annuities. But that's not why I'm showing you this letter. I want you to see how Jacques describes himself. Okay, so here's the first sentence in the letter. Sir, I, the undersigned, am an Indian of the band of Bemeganeshkong, Magnetawan band. And then further down in the letter, he says this. My father was a resident at North Shore and a full Indian, <clears throat> and so was my mother. So Jacques is self-identifying as an Indian. He says he's from an Indian band called Magnetawan, and he says that he's not a half-breed. So much for MNO identifying Jacques as one of their documented Métis. Just like all the others, he's actually one of our Anishinaabe ancestors.